Hey there. So we're going to talk about the truth about affirmations today. I think some of us may have a misperception of the purpose of an affirmation. The affirmation, right, by definition is meant to affirm what you either believe or what you want to kind of trick your mind into believing. So a lot of times when we're going through like the shadow work things and the, all of the things of the things, right? When we're doing this work to actually create the life that we desire, um, people will tell you to do affirmations amongst other things. In fact, in all of the shaka videos that I did, um, where we were talking about alignment. So you might, might go back to like, I don't know, to 18, 19, somewhere in there, um, There, I talk about, well, here's some affirmations for the root chakra. Here's some affirmations for the solar plexus. Here's some affirmations for the third eye chakra. So what the purpose of the affirmation is, is to, from your lips to your ears, to your brain, say, this is what I am positively affirming for my life. In any area of your life, in any area of your being. Now, I want you to comment below on, did you know that already? Did you know that affirmations were to affirm a belief system, right? And I want you to comment below that if you use affirmations. So take a moment, just let me know, do you use affirmations right now? Now, what affirmations are not, they are not negative statements, Okay. So it is not an affirmation is not, I won't be in toxic relationships anymore. I won't have a spirit of lack or an energy of lack anymore. That's not an affirmation, right? Affirm. Affirming is a positive energy. That's just kind of putting out in the air like, well, I ain't going to do this anymore. But that's not reprogramming your brain to say what you will be doing or what you are. There has to be a substitution for what the current status is and to what the new status, what you want that to be. I, I hope that makes sense. So when we are constructing affirmations for the purpose of manifesting our new life, they have to be constructed in a few ways, okay? So the first step is you need to have clarity on the positive change you wish to make, the positive affirmation you wish to have in your life. So you have to have clarity, first of all, first is clarity. The second thing you have to have is you have to have the belief that you can be that, right? So it does not do you any good to say, well, I have a, I'm going to make $50 million this year. If in your heart of hearts and back in the corner recesses of your mind, you don't actually believe that. Now there's a difference. I'm going to pause here for one second before I give you the third. There's a difference between belief and delusion. And I don't mean to be mean. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not really, so don't take it like that, okay? There's a difference between belief and delusion. So I could sit here and say to you, I am a $50 million per year business owner. Or I could say my business will bring in cash in hand, $50 $50 million in 2024. If I don't have everything set up for that business to bring $50 million in, it ain't going to happen. Let's just be real. So you be very careful that we're not getting to delusion. Would it be nice if I earned 50? Absolutely. It'd be fabulous. Honey, I'd be, I would be put having you put down in the chat Send me or give me your email, honey, so that I can, we can all get together. I can send you like private emails and we are all going to go on a vacation together. I'm going to get a whole cruise ship, honey, and we just all going to be on there fully paid. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of your drink packages and everything on me. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be beautiful. 
But that's not reality. Okay? That's not, I don't have the structure set up in order for that to be a thing. Now, if I were to say, if some of y'all were to say, I'm, my business will earn $100,000 this year. Well, that's a pathway I can, see, I can see and it resonates. If it was, I'm going, my business earns $10,000 a month. I can see that. That's a pathway. Okay. So if me personally, if I were to say, my business earned $750,000 this year. That's easy for me to say because I've already sold, right? I've already, I've already earned over half a million dollars as it is not this year yet, but you understand what I'm saying? Like I can see that I have a structure for that. I have done the work for that. So that belief is easy to drop down. So there's a belief and then there's delusion. Don't get off on the delusional side. We're not trying for you to, we're not trying to be like Elon Musk or Oprah Winfrey or whomever. What we want to do is take the next logical step in your evolutionary process. Okay. The next logical step in your evolutionary process. So we're going to go high, but we're not going to go so far that you end up defeating the purpose and defeating yourself. Because if you go for something and manifest something that you're never truly able to achieve because your frequency and your vibration isn't at that level yet, it's, it doesn't work. And we're going to talk about that law of attraction a little bit more. Now, the third thing is when you're constructing your affirmation is that you have to be sure that it is in the positive the best affirmations to me are I am statements because I am, I'm, oh, right. That gives, that is already being stated in the frequency that your being gets the, oh, that's a frequency that resonates and it does something within you. So the minute you say, I am, you are releasing into the universe an affirmative, hey, this God, goddess is speaking. And he or she says, they say, I am X. I am lovable. I am loved. I am confident. I am confident in my intuition. I listen to my higher self. I am abundant in every area of my life. I am operating in peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Right? I am. Okay? So, we have to have it in the positive. Make sure they're not delusional. Right. Make sure there's a belief that you can. Uh, right. And even if you don't feel it right now, as long as you have the clarity about it, then you can begin to feel it the more you speak it. So the purpose of the affirmation is for you to speak it so your ears can hear it and the vibration and the words begin to reprogram your brain to think it. And as this happens and the belief then grows, the more you speak it. As that belief grows, it drops down into your heart and you resonate at that frequency. That's what we're going to talk about next time. We're going to really dive deep into frequencies. Okay. I hope this helped. Give me some affirmations down below. Give me some I am affirmations that you've constructed. I want to read them all and I want to stand on them with you. And if you have any questions about affirmations, leave it down below too. And I will go on and, and answer those questions. All right. Don't forget. Give me a like, a follow, a share, whatever it is, subscription, wherever you're watching this. Don't. And also always remember to give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. I'll see you soon. Bye.